Good afternoon YouTube, welcome to Fair Face Fail Productions. So today I just wanted to do a quick update video on the P-TEC skid plate on the Riehu. So this is a 2022 uh, MR Pro 300 uh, with the P-TEC skid plate that is designed for the newer pipes. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, P-TEC of course updated the design for the newer pipes to fit them properly. It's on their website. It's easy enough to see the different models now. Um, I didn't know there was a super big difference at the time, but here, I just, while I had it up on here, I was looking at it, I was like, I should do a little update on how it's holding up because I have crashed quite badly on this bike and renters have been on it. So God knows, right? So, uh, right now we just threw on a new 12 tooth, uh, sprocket in the front. I need to adjust the rear wheel. Fun fact, you can swap out the front sprocket without actually taking the chain loose in the rear. Um, I love the Sierra clip, uh, spline style <laughs> sprockets. So easy to change out. But as you see here, um, when I installed the plate, um, which was on my last oil change, uh, I didn't get it quite lined up on both sides exactly. And at the time I figured, eh, you know, it's good enough. There's a little bit of space and there's a little bit of space on the other side, but it definitely, um, schwacked it a little bit, but it really protected. Um, you can see one of my stop bolts on this side. I had a pretty hard fall. I actually sheared the stop bolt right off the bike. Um, so we'll have to uh, drill that out and, and uh, kind of maybe redo that. Although, you know, with the P-TEC radiator guards, in as far as it goes, it barely touches this plastic shroud here, so I may not even bother with it. But on this side, also had some pretty good falls um, on the rocks out in uh, Moab. So, um, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> we have the tiniest of little touches here and there's a little bit of space in between the plate and the pipe and you can see where uh yeah it just barely kind of schwacked it but i had some i tell you what i had some really hard falls on some of the ledges and stuff while we were out there um it protected the the water pump and everything over here was was pretty well now next time i take this loose we're definitely going to be um we're going to be pulling this over a little bit more um, just to <laughs> kind of get some balance in there. I can see where the, the bolt on the water pump barely touched the plate as well, but did a very good job. I had some really hard falls. The radiator guards are holding up really good. So, um, p -Tech stuff's doing pretty well. You can see on this side as well, I bent this, this bolt as well. The stop bolts, I had meant to take them out and I forgot, but, uh, no signs of bending in the radiators. Uh, very minor damage. Like if, if I had not had this on here, the pipe would definitely be very banged up from both bottom and side. So um, I think it's very much worth the, the money we spent on those. Um, next big thing we got to put on here is some discards. Um, since we've been riding harder stuff, I'm a little bit more worried about breaking that stuff next. But overall, I think uh, we are very happy with the, the Riehu. Uh, it's been a phenomenal bike. All the protection bits from P-TEC have been awesome. Probably have some more coming. Uh, right now, I'm just throwing on some lower gearing because the bike really needs it, in my opinion. The, either going to a larger rear or one tooth down on the front is the best way to ride this bike. Um, it's just a little bit too tall, and I guess if you're riding faster desert stuff, it works for you. But uh, for us, the slower stuff, I'm doing way too much clutch work. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments about either P-TEC or the Riehu, feel free to throw them in the, the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. Fairface out.